water slide operation, rescues and spinals. The Brimbank Aquatic and Wellness Centre contains two water slides, uh, one of which, slide one, is quite fast, takes approximately 10 seconds to get from top to bottom depending on how heavy the rider is. We also have slide two, which is the slower slide, takes 30 to 35 seconds to get from top to bottom. At the bottom of the water slides, you'll find a lifeguard station, emergency stop button, conditions of use, safety signage, and several height charts. Please note on the height chart that the minimum height is 120 centimeters and the maximum weight is 120 kilograms. There's a lifeguard station at the bottom of the water slides responsible for enforcing these rules and also ensuring that patrons are wearing the appropriate water slide wristband. Up top is another lifeguard where there's CCTV footage and an emergency stop button. Both lifeguards are to be on channel two. If they need to communicate with anyone else in the center, they switch to channel one. When a patron reaches the bottom of the slide and is fully out of the flume, the lifeguard at the bottom communicates to the lifeguard at the top that that particular slide is clear. The lifeguard up top receives the message and is responsible for managing the queue, ensuring people are entering the slide safely, and crowd control. If patrons fail to adhere to the slide rules, we can be faced with various scenarios such as a conscious spinal. When there is a suspected spinal on either of the water slides, Responder 1, positioned at the bottom, is to communicate this via the radio to Responder 2 by saying stop, stop, stop. Responder 2 then acknowledges this call, clears the slide tower, and heads down to assist. Responder 1 then switches to Channel 1 in order to communicate the Major to the Duty Manager and the rest of the facility. Remaining on the outside of the water slide flume, Responder 1 performs a double arm rollover on the patient. It's important to keep the ear close to the mouth in order to check for a response. If there is a response, this is now to be treated as a spinal and the emergency stop button is to be pressed if it hasn't already. Once the emergency stop button is pressed, the pumps to the slide will immediately shut off and the slide will stop running. The water in the flume will slowly begin to drop. By this point, ensure emergency services have been called. Responder 2 then enters the flume of the water slide and performs a vice grip. On the count of three, Responder 1 slowly lets go of the patient and enters the water slide flume. They then get down to ground level and lower the patient's arms. Then they perform a trapezius grip. Again, on the count of three, Responder 2 lets go of the patient. And this is a position that Responder 1 will remain in until emergency services arrive. So it's important to reassure the patient. Unconscious, not breathing, suspected spinal. Potentially the worst case scenario that you could be faced with on our water slides. However, the initial response is relatively the same. Responder 1 identifies a suspected spinal, communicates it to Responder 2 who hits the e-stop and Responder 1 puts the patient into a double arm rollover and checks for breathing. However, in this situation, they do not receive a response and the patient is not breathing. Now, it may be several minutes before Responder 2 gets down from the bottom of the stairs. It may also be a while until the duty manager or another lifeguard arrives on scene. So in this situation, Responder 1 commences CPR in the water slide flume. When Responder 2 arrives, they are to grab the spinal board in order to perform an extraction. Keep in mind, this is only to be used if the patient is too heavy and cannot be lifted out of the flume by hand. You would not do this for a small child. Once Responder 2 arrives with the spinal board, Responder 1 will tilt the patient on their side so that the spinal board can be knifed underneath. Responder 1 then enters the flume and grabs the head of the board. It is important that these steps are completed before the water is drained out of the water slide flume. Responder 2 then enters the water and grabs the feet of the board. The two then lift the board and rest the head on the edge of the water slide flume. Responder 3 then arrives and grabs the head of the board from the outside of the flume. Keep in mind, preservation of life takes priority over the suspected spinal. However, reasonable care should be taken of the head, neck and back. Responder 1 then exits the flume and grabs one side of the board. Once he has a firm grip on the board, Responder 2, on the count of 3, will let go, exit the flume, and grab the opposite side of the board. The patient is then lifted, 
and slowly lowered down and rolled onto her side. It is important to protect the head while doing this. The spinal board is then removed from underneath the patient and a resuscitation commences. Ensure that the defibrillator and the oxygen have been collected and that emergency services have been called. Those are two of the worst case scenarios that you could be faced with on our water slides. If you can safely and efficiently perform both of these rescues, then you'll comfortably be able to handle any other situation that may arise. Shout out to True Brides for their footage from inside of our water slides, and a massive thanks to Ari, Bao, Adrian, and Yusuf for their help with this video. Thanks for watching, guys.